Hi, my name is Patrick, and welcome back to my blind playthrough of Undertale. We're gonna... oh, look, Sans and Papyrus are on there now, that's kinda cool. And this is a bit loud, so just a moment, I'm gonna take this and turn it down just a tad. There we go. Okay, we're good. Toriel's there, and Sans and Papyrus. I wonder if everybody starts showing up here as you play. So where we left off, we had just finished Waterfall, and uh, I just walked to the save station and then called it good. I didn't talk to anybody else, so hello. Sorry, Undyne like told us there was totally a human in the area, so like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Nah. Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Uh, what? 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 Okay. Interesting. Oh, hello, what's this? Tra la la, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat. Um, sure. Where will we go? Oh! Oh, that's cool. It's a shortcut. Um. What do I. Uh, nowhere? I guess I have to choose one. Let's go to Snowden for now. Then we're off. Away we go. Tra la la, what's inside an acorn? It's really just a mystery. Okay. Come again sometime, tra la la. Oh, I know where I am. Okay, cool. I guess I just unlocked the fast travel system for the game? Maybe I'll try frowning for once. No, I just can't do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to buy more Healy items, because I am totally out. Alright, cool. That bunny is funny. Healy items, what do I have in my box? Yes. Butterscotch, spider, spider, snowman, stick, and bandage. Uh, save. And... Hello, I'd like to buy some... Cinnamon buns. 22, that's a full heal and it costs less, so yes, please. Six should be good. Oops. Okay, I already did all that. Um... Cool. I wonder if Papyrus and Sans are back at their house. Last time I went, nobody was there. Oh yeah, I also have the... Snowden, home of Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? <laughs> Gosh, I should use that more often. And the Larbarib. This sink is so tall you can't even wash your hands. Oh well. Spaghetti. Yes. We know about the spaghetti. Look inside? Yes. Clothes are hung up. The door is locked. Can't go in Sansa's room. Alright then. It's locked. No going in there either. Okay, I guess we should head back to Waterfall. Really quick. And see what there is to see there. Oh, hello. That's a face on the... Draw the lock, care for a ride. Yes, let's go to Waterfall, please. Then we're off. What the f... <laughs> okay. Apparently we run on water. Draw the law. Temi Village. The room before the Darkening Lantern Room. I stumbled on that one by accident. It's a running boat. Is that like a running joke? Okay. Where am I? Oh, okay. Um, heels looks like a crab. Yep, 
Yeah, I better stuff them both of that. Thank you. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, let's save. I wanted to see if anybody said anything different or if Undyne's back here. I'm working, I mean, welcome to the book family snail farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day, and now it's just some hairy guy that shows up with some month. Okay. No, we're not doing Thunder Snail. I'm terrible with that. Doop, 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 doop. Alright. Uh, it's locked. How do you get in this house? Can you get in this house? That would be a question to ask. Hi, Napstabook. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Oh, we can't jam anymore. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Nah, we're good. I wanted to, to chill out again. Oh, hi, Papyrus. What, what, what? It's a living. <laughs> okay. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? What? Oh, I guess I'm hanging out with Undyne. I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Um, sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst, make sure to give her this. She loves these. Okay. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am, and I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? <laughs> oh, God. Why do I have a feeling this is about to go completely nuts? Oh. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you, all on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Oh my gosh, there's so many bones in that drawer. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie dipsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. What the fuck, Papyrus? What are you even doing? Uh, so why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Um, no. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Um, sure. Really? How delightful I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Undyne, you're a little nuts there. Not. Oh, why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're not the enemy. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? Ha ha ha, what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? No, I want to check out your piano. One time, Alphys's, uh friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Who's a nerd? I'll play piano. Oh, same thing. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of fish. Look inside the bone drawer. Yes. Oh my god, the dog. That dog is everywhere. What's with the dog themes in this game? This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Well, 
I hate cold food. So Alpha's fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. What? Right? Um... No. Pfft, you liar. I've read Alphys' human history book collection. I know all about your giant swords. Your colossal alien fighting robots. Your supernatural princesses. Has Undyne been reading manga? Heh. There's no way you're gonna fool me. Okay. I can't believe he left through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. <laughs> no, what? I'm not gonna serenade you. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Um, no, I want to keep looking at stuff. There's this... Uh, we did that already. I guess that's everything I can do. So let's sit at the table. Sit down and progress. Sure. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Um, all set. What would you like? Whoa! Hey! Don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Whoa. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Uh... Sugar goes in tea. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. Tea box, blatantly correct choice. I want hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. <laughs> Asgore, there's Asgore again. Um, oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth, it rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh, why do I have it? What was that face? Can I drink Undyne? Are you hitting on me? What? Ah. Oh gosh. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Um... That's what I thought. Can I choose the- oh. Fridge? The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No! Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords, if you weren't my beloved house guest. Oh gosh, she's really taking this too far. Is there anything else I can choose that's fun? Ah! <laughs> that one is pretty funny. Alright, tea box, fine. Tea, huh? Coming right up! Okay. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. Okay. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. Okay. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Whoa. You're overdoing this sometime. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Ascor's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. Okay. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis, emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. 
Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus is a total dork. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped up into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Oh. What the f- That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Slightly obsessed. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Okay. Ah! Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong, wimpy. Uh... Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Ugh. Whoa. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clinks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Press Z, repeat. Okay, we're stirring. Stir harder. Oh my gosh. Harder. What the hell? Harder. I'm stirring as fast as I can press the damn button. Ah, let me do it. Whoa. Um... That pot just got destroyed. That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Uh, okay. That's heat. Right? That's on fire. It wants me to keep going. Why does it want me to- okay, fine, we'll keep going. Ugh, let me do it. Holy ch ch see, this is how you- <laughs> What the hell? Oh, Shiza. Ah, uh, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated, my house is in shambles, I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah. Is letting you make the first attack? Uh, spare. Show me what you've got. No, I'm sparing. Do your worst. What's the matter? What the hell is this holdup? 
come on already. It's getting hot in here. Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I don't think it's gonna let me do that. Fine, we'll we'll fight. Oh, weird. <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick. But... The way you hit me right now, it uh, reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Askor are fated to fight. Oh, no. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh, the sad fish house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time, but uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Pyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help... Just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to. Well, see you later, Bonk. Wow. Sounds like only fire lives here now. <laughs> oh, that's nothing new. That was so weird. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Man. Stranger things have happened. And that's Napstablook. What's over here? Oh, yeah. This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? Um, sure, I haven't done this yet. This is the most epic bird carrying music I've ever heard. Well, thanks, little bird. Ooh, hello. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Hey, Sans. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally, uh,. Well, come back whenever you want. Sure thing, buddy. Oh, the guy's not here anymore. The ice cream seller. The ancient glyphs have been painted over. Yeah, the 21 flavors. It's a box. We're storing punch cards. It's empty right now. I'm definitely not going to walk all the way back through that. Um, yeah, let's go back. Cue adventure music. And away we go. Such excite. Many bird. Good job, little bird. Thanks so much. saved. What's past here? Uh, I think this is... or is it... Oh no, this is the way of the trash dump, right? Yeah, this is where the trash dump... Uh, it's a DVD case. I don't think there's anything more back here. But I'm here, so might as well look. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. I clean off all of the trash and arrange it into symmetrical piles. It's hard work, but somebody has to do it. Thanks, dude. You do a good job of that. Right. 
symmetrical piles. What a, an interesting way of saying, like, explaining the art being done and the fact that half a pile is half a pile and then making a, a full symmetrical pile, excuse me, is a whole other thing. All right. Is it past here? Where are we? I wanted to go back to Temi Village really quick. Actually, is there even anything I can... Papyrus Hammond. Ring, ring. Fra a field of echo flowers. They babble back and forth to each other until their words become meaningless and always creepy, huh? Oh, a little bit. Here we are. I think this is the area where... Tem... Tem Village? No, we wanted to go down and to the right. Once you get familiar with this room, you don't even need to light up the mushrooms. I mean, the path to Temi Village is never lit up here. But why would you want to go there? Oh, <laughs> really? Well, I discovered it on my own, so there. Hi, Temmies. Ring, ring, there's no response. Oh. Hi, I'm Temmie. And this is my friend, Temmie. Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. It's hard boiled. Of course it is. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check Tem shop. Hi, right, welcome to the Tem shop. Tem pay for college. I don't have a thousand gold. I wish I had a thousand gold. Maybe I'll try and save up a thousand gold and send Tem to college. Uh, I can sell stuff. Hi, I'm Temmy. The Tem shop. Not an item shop, a Tem shop. I'm so excited. Hi. Goodbye, Temmy. Toyle never answers her phone anymore. Oh well, nothing new to find here. So we need to go back to the river crossing so that we can get to the end of this area and the start of the next one where we left off. Cool. Ever onward and upward. Uh, down here, right? Yeah, there we go. Right, yes, please. Let's go to Hot Land. Hot Land. The land of the hot. Tra la la. Why don't you sing with me? Tra la la. Tra la 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 la. Wrong time of year, but I do really like um, some Christmas carols. Especially the uh, ring of the bells. Okay, let's save. Seeing such a strange laboratory. In a place like this, you're filled with determination. Is there anybody up back here? Oh, hello. Oh, I already talked with you last time. Can I take water? No, we're good. And nobody here? Okay. Welcome to... Hot land. I didn't get to read that last time because I was desperately running away from Undyne. Is there somebody passed back here at that save point? That scrolling thing really reminds me of the later part of Earthbound. There's that ice. No, ice. Ice. Oh, hello. There's a block. It's a box, presumably to be pushed. Okay. Hello. Bah, today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah, there's no art in that action-y mindless schlock. It's just timing-based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young, you've still got hope. Yeah, here, try solving this block-pushing puzzle. Okay. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. I forget if this generation is really hopeless. Is that like a boomer monster? 
I should really probably shouldn't call monsters boomers because who knows. <laughs> it is pretty funny though. All right, let's let's actually go look at what's going on inside of Hotland instead of goofing around and seeing what we might have missed back in Waterfall. I hope everyone's doing okay out there. Make sure you wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Stay at home. Stay safe. And if you enjoy what you're watching, then please do drop a follow. I play this every weekend on Sundays around this time. But until I finish it, that is. And then I go on to the next random, well, not so random, but somewhat random game. But I do a full play. Oh, whoa. I think this is the lab. Sure, let's go in. Why am I in a highlighted... Oh, what the heck? It's you? Yeah, it is. What the hell? It's too dark to see near the walls. Okay. Can't see anything. Why am I being... I'm being watched, and that's really creepy. What the heck? I can't see anything. Whoa. Eh? Oh, snap. Oh, my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and... What the... Um... Uh, hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Ascor's Royal Scientist. Okay, so we've got the Royal Guard, and now we've got Royal Science going on. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... been observing your journey through my console. Really? So you're a... Warrior? Your fights, your friendships, everything! I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Ascor's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Me Metaton? I met- I never met a ton I didn't like. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-human anti combat features. Uh, of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Yeah, that, that, that means we're absolutely going to run into him. <laughs> Did you hear something? Uh. Oh no. Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show. Oh, boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Oh my god. Um. Okay, I guess we're, we're doing a fight against a robot, but, um. Metaton, check and cry. Metaton, attack 30, defense 255, his metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Um. More questions. It sounds like you get it right. Okay. Cry? Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Uh, I know it's Asgore. Oh, she's showing me the answers. Okay. Correct! What a terrific answer. Uh, no, we just want to spare? Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? B, metal and magic. Okay. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. 
The music's kind of nice. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and B simultaneously depart station A and station B, station A and station B are two... What the f... Just... this. Wonderful. I'm astounded, folks. The show continues. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Uh... Correct! You're so lucky today! Okay, thanks, um, Alphys. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? That's... Metaton? I'm so flattered you remembered! Oh my gosh. But can you get this one? Who... would you smooch a ghost? Um... The number's just counting up, it's not counting down. <laughs> and Alpha's just kinda like, what? Smooch a ghost? What What does smooching a ghost have to do with it? Uh, sure. Great answer, I love it! Here's a simple one. How many letters is in the name Metaton? Uh, that many. Of course, that was easy for you. This quiz show continues. <laughs> okay, hey, hey Nightfire, how's it going? I am playing um, Undertale for the first time, so please, no spoilers if you are familiar with this game. But uh, please join on in for the craziness that we are facing against uh, apparently what's a quiz show. Spare. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Yumi Yukisi Kiri, what's Yumi's favorite food? Oh, I know this one, it's snail ice cream. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys? Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me! I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Undyne, Ascor, the human, don't know? Oh, gosh. I'm chilling and no, I will offer no spoilers. You must suffer like the rest of us. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Let's say the human. She's been watching me like crazy. Seriously? My, my. How conceited can you get? I love it. And while you are completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on her computer screen, smiling when you succeed, shrieking when you fail, and always, always whispering. No, wrong, you have to go that way. In its own way, this is, is this not love? Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Okay, that was a load. Whew, I hope you're staying safe, Nightfire, wherever you are right now with the lockdown and everything going on. I am chilling myself. Well, that was certainly something. Yeah, no kidding. Hi, Alphys. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Okay. That last question. He wasn't supposed to ask that one. Okay. It's a bathroom sign. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Are we officially in lockdown? I haven't left my house in like three weeks. <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to be until April 30th, and you are allowed to leave your house in Hawaii to travel uh, for necessary things like shopping, uh, groceries specifically, and whatnot. Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient? It doesn't even have texting. Sounds like my wife's phone, except she can't text. Wait a second, please. Um, shelter in place isn't locked down. Here, I upgraded it for you. Oh, that's that's true. Shelter in place is not locked. I think of lockdown as like no restaurant taken. Ah, got it. No, we're not in lockdown. I just tend to refer to it like that. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting items. It's got a keychain. I can even I even sign you up for the underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. Hee hee hee. Hee hee. Hmm. I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, God. 
Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Okay. Keep calling it quarantine. Yeah. It's it's a shelter in place is the correct way of putting it. Uh, what is all this? Okay. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Sure, well, let's read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate, but it does explain Undyne's fascination with human history. I only ask because my neighbors have decided upgrading their cars is more important than their lives. Yeah, it's okay to go outside as long as you are distancing yourself from people, and that's an important distinction to make. So they keep calling five plus friends from somewhere to help them. No, that's not cool. That's very not cool. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. Let's read one. You look inside. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled. Sure, let's read one. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Yeah, no kidding. What is this? Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Okay. Looks like Alphys' work table. It seems dusty. I love the, the... I guess that's Kitty Mew Mew in the background. Makes me irrationally angry watching six to eight guys vaping in a group maybe two feet between the max. Yeah, well... People will do to themselves what they want. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. Hmm. It's a lamp with a pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. I wonder why people are mailing Alphys. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Ha. Huh? It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Hmm. It's a video feed of your location. Garbage can, but it's pretty cute. Seems like the notes are all something. Or it seems like the notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. Seems like a walkthrough to a game, or...? It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. It's a beat-up figurine of a female human with cat ears. It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Um... Sure, why not? You got the instant noodles. It's a bag full of dog food. It's half full. Oh, Alphys has a doggy. Oh, uh, let's see how much stuff I have. Okay. Instant noodles. Instant noodles heals HP. Comes with everything you need for a quick meal. Cinnamon bunny buns. Alphys has hidden herself away in the bathroom. Uh, let's see what... Dimensional box? Whoa. Oh, I have a working, like, portable box now. That's cool. Ring, ring. You're at Alphys' lab? Is she there? Hey, tell her I said hi, okay? And tell me how she's doing. And tell me if she needs anything. And wait, no, don't ask any of that. Ooh. Hmm. Me thinks me senses a... Undyne's name was on that list of people that, that Alphys might like, so that, that would be interesting to see. Okay, so you said I have to suffer through this game. I've been, I haven't been suffering. The only thing I knew coming into the game was that somebody said I shouldn't fight anyone. Oh, actually, I should go save on the other side of the lab really quick before I go onward. So I've been trying to spare everyone that I can, and I haven't fought anybody. Um, and it's made some of the battles really tedious, because all I can do is sit there and spare and dodge and spare some more. Let's save. Filled with determination. Where do we go? But I am enjoying the story. The music's really good. Um, I'm curious, like... All kinds of people are saying different things about Asgore, and I'm curious what what Asgore's about. I mean, you can fight people, but the route is utter hell from what I've heard. Oh, Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Oh my god, is this going to be a thing now? Alpha's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Oh gosh. Alpha's updated status. For now, i got to call up the human and guide them. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, hello. Oh. Vulcan. Okay. Criticize, encourage, hug. Check. Um... I guess I'll encourage. You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Ah, ah, it does my best. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not so bad. You just dodged. Well, no, I can't dodge down there anymore. Vulcan parodies. Parades around you proudly. Oh, that worked. Good. You won. You earned nothing and gold. Okay. Ooh. What did you do with Goat Mom? Um, I managed to dodge everything, and at some point it seemed like she just stopped hitting me after I took some damage. So, she survived. I didn't do anything to her at all. Gonna call them in a minute. Oh my gosh. Nice. Goat Mom, that's the first time I've heard that term. You mean, I'm guessing you mean Toriel? Must mean. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, yes, yeah, save, please, and fill my health. Couldn't remember Toriel's name. <laughs> it's okay, there are a lot of characters in this game. Uh, I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. Oh, my gosh. Is she, like... Oh, snap. Uh, Sunderplane gets in the way, not on purpose or anything. Oh, my God, Tsundere. Tsundere no koto da na. Check, flirt, approach. I should... Do I flirt or approach? I think flirt? You tell Sunderplane that you like its taste in movies and books. Huh? You sicko! Um, whoa. Okay, we... Uh, Sunderplane looks over, then turns up its nose. Uh, approach? You get close to Sunderplane, but not too close. Eh, human. Ooh. We're getting close to Sunderplane. Oops. I didn't get close enough. It shakes its nose dis Oh, no. Gotta get closer, I think. Uh, approach. You get close, but not too close. Human. Sunderplane looks over, then turns up his... Okay, we've, we've made Sunderplane super, like... Gosh. Oh, okay. We can jump things. Uh, what's over here? Whoops. Sunderplane. Whoops, that was not what I wanted to do. Two, one, two, go! Hello. There's a frying pan. Will you take it? Sure. You got the burnt pan. Okay. Can I go down? I cannot go down. Okay. Onward we go. Oh my god, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Okay, ring, ring. Click? Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Steam vents, I think Alpha's told me about those. The core cools off by releasing steam through those, and at the same time, it doubles as transport. Pretty cool if you aren't wearing a dress. Thanks, Undyne. Huh? Ring. Uh, hi, so the blue lasers, uh, I mean, Alpha's here, hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving, and they, um, they won't, um, move through those ones. Uh, bye. Okay. Alpha's up there. Oh my god, I did it. Claws haven't shook like that since Undyed called me to ask about the weather. Is this, this whole place is just gonna be nothing but Alpha's posting updates. So if I keep moving, Alpha's. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? <laughs> Okay, so don't move for blue, move for orange. Whoa, don't move for blue. Hi! Ah! Uh, okay. Move, move, move. Okay. Button. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Lasers were deactivated. Thank goodness. I am doing okay. I don't need to heal up. So I take it you've played the entirety of this game, Nightfire? Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters all over it. Uh, uh ring. Uh, Alf is here. The, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I think you should go to the right first. Okay. I can do that. 
Ooh, hello. The way to work is blocked, so I had time to catch Metaton's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Of course, an experienced viewer like me knows CGI when they see it. Well, aren't you just special? Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. And that's not even counting me. Well then. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. Oh my gosh, office. The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle, but I kept running out of ammo and it kept restarting. And my two co-workers won't help, it's like they don't even want to go to work. Why don't you try? Try using the console. Okay. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Okay. Boom. Oh, I see. Um... Do do do. I did well. Wow, you solved it? I'm impressed. You must be a total nerd. Okay, sure, dude. Meta. Okay, we went over that already. And now it's shiny up there. Okay, onward we go. Oh, no, no, no. I was not walking there yet. Right, up, left. Thank you. Ring. Alphys, here. That blue laser seems totally impassable, but as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the Hotline Laser Database and take it out. Click. Ah, uh, thanks. Hello. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can, well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. Hmm? Nice try, but your loitering technique still needs work. <laughs> We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. Wait a second. Ah, it's summer vacation. <laughs> oh, okay. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Okay. I have two shots. Uh, up, left, right. Up, up, up. Oh, I can do this in two shots like this. Okay. Cool. Puzzles! You have something new to say? We were hanging out. Yeah, we went over this already, and uh, we said that too. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay. Sorry, just had to check a message there. Down, right, up. Big door opens. Human goes through. Whatever, I'll just explain it. Ring. Uh, I think, um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, you already solved them? Awesome! <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo. Jumpy time. What the... Ring. Hey, hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. What the heck? Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're quick with those puzzles. I... So... Somebody else commented on this on a previous stream, and I've played a ton of puzzle games uh, in my time, and so... It, moving box puzzles like that are pretty common in a lot of games, and so not super difficult. Oh yes, welcome beauties to the Underground's premier cooking show, Cooking with a Killer Robot. Okay. Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. Okay. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. This isn't a show about washing your hands, darling. That's on Wednesdays. Uh, you found the eggs. Found the milk. Found the sugar. MTT brand microwave, origin of the MTT challenge. Put your food in and set the microwave on high for five minutes. If you can still recognize your meal, we'll double your money back. Leaving. I'm stuck. Milk, eggs in the fridge? No way, darling. They'd get cold. Okay, there you go. 
Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We've got all of the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, wait a magnificent moment, how could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. A human soul. Whoa. Um. Ring. Hello, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Could, couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? <laughs> vegan. Uh, well, I mean, that's a brilliant idea, Alphys! Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand Ollie's Convenient Human Soul Flavored Substitute! A can of which is just over on that counter. Okay. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? It's the oven. Looks like someone forgot to preheat it. Okay, we're gonna use What's this? What's the matter? Not a can fan? That's too bad. MTT brand uses only the freshest artificial ingredients and chemicals. Wow. What the... Shit? By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. Oh no. There's not enough time to climb up. Fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. See that huge button that says Jetpack? Watch this. What the heck? There. You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there. Oh, I can only dodge left, right? Oh my gosh. Okay. What the heck is this? There's croutons everywhere, uh, and oh my gosh. Um, yikes. No, 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 I'm not doing that, sorry. Ow, that hurt a bit. Uh, go faster, please. Oh, I'm so glad I got a new controller, because my old controller would have totally bugged out on this. Um, we're almost at the goal. Oh, yikes. Uh, it's a good thing I play tons and tons of dodge-based games, because, wow. Oh, man. My, my. It seems you've bested me, but only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I loathe to think of what would have happened to you without her. Well, toodles. Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Wait, if you baked the cake ahead of time, that must have meant that there was a human in there already. Ew. Wow, we, we did it. We, we really did it. Great job out there, team. Well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Wow. Okay. Ooh. An ominous structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. Okay. Uh, see that building in the distance? That's the core. The source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh, anyway, that's where we're going to go. And the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. Okay. Freaky. Oh, hello. Uh, please select a location. I guess we're going right floor two. Hello. Heh, I'm Heat's Flames Man. Remember my name. Okay, Heat's Flames Man. I will remember your name. Oh, hello. I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? Guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we went over that. Toasty bun. Toasty bun. Okay. Oh yeah, I never used the burnt pan. Hold on. You equipped the burnt pan. Now I have ballet shoes sitting around. Okay. 
Hey buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30 gold. Uh, I'm out of space. Yeah, you gotta have to save your money for college and spiders. College and spiders? Is he reading my mind? There's there's the Tim guy trying to go to college and then... What's that about spiders though? I just remember the Tem college, okay. There's no save point. Office posted a picture. Dinner with the girlfriend. It's a picture of a cat girl figuring next to a bowl of instant noodles. Cool skeleton 95 posted a picture. Are we posting hot pics? Here is one. Here is me and my cool friend. It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He is wearing sunglasses. Ah, the Tem. Yeah, giant muscular biceps are pasted onto his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. Oh my gosh. Ring ring. Papyrus, why are you wearing those? Papyrus? Excuse me, I am the very cool online guy. Cool skeleton 95. What? No, you're Papyrus. Undyne, shh. You're going to reveal my secret online persona. Cute. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the... We have two dimensional boxes, so... We'll drop the ballet shoes in the second one. And we'll take the stick and bandage. Oh, I'm out of room. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Just juggling some inventory space. Yeah, Thames are cute. I really liked the Tem area. And I just, like, I was walking around in that room, and I walked off the path, and I was curious what was going on. And look, Temmy Village. That was pretty funny. Um, let's measure box A. Bandage. Snowman piece, spiders, spider butterscotch. Okay, we're gonna hold on to those just in case. Pyrope bounds towards you. Uh, heat up, cool down, invite. Cool down? You blow on Pyrope, its flames die down. Pyrope's attack dropped. Burr, what's the deal? Oh, that wasn't very nice. I need to move through those. Okay. Oops, that was a wall. Move. Okay, good. Protected by its winsome smile. Let's heat up. You crank up the thermostat. Pyrope begins to get excited. Hot, 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 hotter, hotter. Okay, moving, moving, moving. Moving, moving, shit, moving. Power up once more heat. Alright, heat up. You crank up the thermostat, it's super hot. Power up looks satisfied. Hot, 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 hot or hot. Oh man, talk about hot. Ah, dang it. Uh, okay. The room is sweltering. We're good. I need someone to guide me to it. I didn't find it to my second playthrough. Oh. Yeah, I... Cool skeleton, that's a joke, right? Oh god. Update status. The only joke here is how strong my muscles are. Okay, you guys, get a room. Naps to Book 22 has sent you a friend request. Accept the request? Yeah, sure. It seems to have already rejected itself. There's an apron lying on the ground. Will you take it? Sure. You got the stained apron. Okay. Uh, info. 11 defense. Eels oh, heals HP. Nice. I will definitely equip that. Um... Use. Will you equip the apron? So we can store the 2 2. There. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I was I was literally walking around in that room where you have to turn the lights on, and I was walking down and forgot to click left or to go left at the corner, and I kept walking. I was like, what the heck just happened? Cinder plane. Not because it's jealous of Vulcan isn't paying attention to you. Let's go ahead and Encourage? Tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Ah, does my best. Okay. Whoa, dropping bombs. Whoa, fire. Holy cow. We can spare that. Human. No bombs, please. Thank you. Oh, the bombs drop on the... I see what's going on. I didn't even notice that previously. Uh, approach. You get close, but not too close. Eh, human? Ow. Crap. Please don't die. Sunderplane shakes its nose submissively at you. Yeah, okay, we're gonna approach again. Human! Okay, we're good. Spare you, thank you. I need to heal. We'll use a cinnamon bun. You eat the cinnamon bun, your HP would max out. Thank you. Do you know what happens if you give ring uh, hi, it's Dr. Alphys. This puzzle is kind of, um, timing-based. You see those switches over there? You'll have to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the rhythm. Oh my god. 
I'm trying to decide if I want to save a thousand gold to send Tem to college. I've got exactly 666 gold right now. That's kind of a... Uh, funny. What? You have to solve a puzzle on the conveyors? Oh man, did I ever tell you my conveyor puzzle idea? What is it? Imagine four basketball hoops on the sides of a conveyor loop. The conveyor keeps speeding up until you get a sick. Then you have to puke on all four hoops in a row. I hate this. You have to time the pukes. Oh my god. Okay. One, two. What? Oh, okay. Now press the third one. Uh, uh. Hey, looks like you only needed to press two of them. Oh my god, she totally interrupted me. Uh, Alphys tries a little too hard. Whoa. That's the last time I tried to help with the puzzle. Lamel. Okay, that goes. What is ring? Uh, hey, I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Sure. What the? Oh, interesting. So if I want to go up, I gotta go here, and then go up. Interesting. That's not gonna work. There we go. That'll do it. Boom. Like a boss. Okay, Alpha. Oh my god, people think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1. Lol, that's a joke, right? Oh my gosh, Alpha. Knowing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Squeak! I love the mouse squeaks. The mouse squeaks are so cute. There's a piece of cheese inside this computerized laser safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese and stuck to the table. <laughs> oh my god, don't they get it? Ruins Mew Mew's entire character arc? Oh my gosh, Office. My Mew Mew 2 review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2 is neither kissy nor cutie, it's trash zero stars. Office, you need to stop while you're ahead, okay? Because really- Hey, you! Stop! We've, like, received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us they were wandering around Hotline right now. I know, sounds scary, huh? Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Um, huh? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing? Like, what about it? Pardon me, my neighbor has chosen this exact moment to vacuum. Bro, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer, this is like... Mega embarrassing. We, like, actually totally have to kill you and stuff. Oh, shit. Royal Guard. Uh... Royal Guard 1. Clean Armor. Whisper. Royal Guard 2. Clean Armor. Uh... Clean Armor. You attempt to touch Royal Guard 1's armor. Your hands slip off. Like, hands off the merch. Team attack. Oh, shiza. That's not so bad. Okay. Sweat pours from Zero Two's armor. Okay. Clean armor? You clean RGO 2s armor. It's cooling dirt begins to wash away. Getting warmer. Like, give us the soul, brah. O2 watches your movements. Okay. Clean armor. You clean RG. It's cooling dirt begins to wash away. Getting warmer. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, I see. I gotta keep touching the thing. Can't take it. Armor too hot. Whoa. Much better. RG Owen looks bothered by something. <laughs> oh, man. RG one Uh, whisper? You tell RG one to be honest with his feelings. I, I, uh. What the heck? Oh, now it's it's all over the place. D dude, I can't, I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like, oh, too. I like, I like like you, bro. 
Bro. Chat says bro too. The, the way you fight, the way you talk, I love doing team attacks with you. I love standing here with you, bouncing and waving our weapons in sync. O2, I like, want to stay like this forever. Uh, I mean, uh, psych, gotcha bro, ha ha ha, O1. Y yeah bro? Do you want to get some ice cream after this? Sure, dude. Ha ha ha. O1 and O2 are looking at each other happily. Aww. You're my whole word, bro. You are spared. Thanks, bro. They went to go get ice cream. How sweet. Bro. Oopsie, wait. How's the human in doing? Alpha, uh, top 10 shows that make you forget how to do your freaking job. <laughs> Alpha's here a bit late. <laughs> eh? Oh no, not again. Ring. Okay, I'm back. Another dark room, huh? Don't worry. My hacking skills have got things covered. Are you serious? Oh, yes. MTT brand still top rated. School canceled over reactivated puzzle. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. Oh yes. Good evening beauties gentle and gentle beauties. Scientist discovers health benefits of using computer. Just kidding. Lol. This is Metaton, reporting live from MTT News. An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotland. Fortunately, our correspondent is out there reporting live. Brave correspondent, please find something newsworthy to report. Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. Okay. Basketball's a blast, isn't it, darling? Too bad you can't play with those balls. They're MTT brand fashion basketballs for wearing, not playing. You can't get rich and famous like moi without beautifying a few orbs. Um, now let's look around some more. A dog! What a sensational opportunity for a story! I can see the headline now. A dog exists somewhere. Frankly, I'm blown away. Report the, uh, we'll, we'll report on a dog. Attention viewers! Our correspondent has found a dog! Cute audience Oz. That's right, folks. It's the feel-good story of the year. Look at this little errors. Ears, tiny paws, fluffy tail. Wait a second. That's not a tail. That's a fuse. What? That's right, that dog is a bomb. But don't panic. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. What the heck? Oh my. It seems everything in this area is actually a bomb. That present's a bomb. That basketball's a bomb. Even my words are... <laughs> ba bombs Brave correspondent, if you don't defuse all these bombs, this big bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes. Then you won't be reporting live any longer. How terrible, how disturbing. Our nine viewers are going to love watching this. Good luck, darling. Ring. Don't worry. I installed a bomb diffusing program on your phone. Use the diffuse option when the bomb is in the diffuse zone. Now go get him. Okay. Uh. Act. Oh, there it is. Dog diffused. Okay, good job. Great job. Try to go for the bun in the bottom left next. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh. Tick. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's loud. There we go. Okay, good. We're not total failures. I, oh, what? No, I was moving. over here. Oh my god. There we go. Act. Script bomb. Diffuse. Okay, good. We're running out of time, though. Puzzle bomb? Sure. Okay, goody. I know there's 30 seconds left. Thanks for reminding me. Okay, what's, what else is... Oh, great job. Head for the center. I'm using um, EM fills to trap the loss of water there. Okay. 
extremely agile glass of water. Yay, I defused all the bombs. Whew. Well done, darling. You've deactivated all the bombs. If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb would have exploded in two minutes. Now it won't explode in two minutes. Instead, it'll explode in two seconds. What the hell? Goodbye, darling. Ah. It seems the bomb isn't going off. Ring. That's because while you were monologuing, I, I f fix, um, I changed. Oh no, you deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills. Yeah, that's what I did. Curses. It seems I've been foiled again. Curse you, human. Curse you, Dr. Office, for helping so much. But I didn't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in. Until next time, darling. Wow, we really showed him, huh? Hey, I know it was kind of weird at first, but I really think I'm getting more, uh, more, more confident about guiding you. So don't worry about that big dumb robot. I'll protect you from him. And it really came down to it. We could just turn. Um, never mind. Later. That was really weird. Okay, we're just gonna move onward. Hopefully, there's a save point up ahead. Strangest things ever. Oh, there's the core again. Um, I noticed you've been kind of quiet. Are you worried about meeting Asgore? Well, don't worry about it, okay? The king is a really nice guy. I'm sure you can talk to him, and with your human soul, you can pass through the barrier. So there's no worrying, okay? Just forget about it and smile. Sure. Everybody says he's so nice. Such a fluffy, friendly guy. Uh, okay. Please select. Uh, we've gone left for... Right floor one and two, so I can go left floor three. Okay. Onward we go. Oh, we're at the top. Oh, hello. I ended up buying a donut. I didn't want to, but that girl, even though I told her no, she kept staring at me in this creepy way and licking her lips. Now I'm out of cash. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Buy a spider donut for 9,999 gold? I can't afford that. Buy a spider cider for... No. I already have some of those, though. Welcome to our parlor, dearie. Interested in some spider pastries? All proceeds go to real spiders. It looks like some sort of powerful bracelet. Wait, it's just a croissant. It's a spider donut. Looks more rubbery than usual. Okay, I can't afford anything there. Ring. Hi, Alpha's here. This room is like the room we saw before. There are two puzzles in the north and south. You'll have to solve both of them to proceed. Also, I'd like to say, I don't really like giving away puzzle solutions, but if you need help, just call, okay? Actually, wait, I have an idea. Let's be friends on Undernet. Then you can just ping me when you need help. Wait, we're already friends, aren't we? I signed you up, didn't I? You've been reading my post the whole time. Well, I hope you agree with me about Mew Mew too. Click. Oh my gosh. Alphys is a special nutcase. This is really big. Okay, that works. Okay. Shoot the opposing ship. You have just one shot. Okay. Uh, whoops. This is going to take me a while to figure out, I think. Oh, they're almost, um, no, as soon as I do that. Okay, the last one needs to be up, I think. Yeah, the last one needs to be up, so. Oh my gosh. Puzzles. 
No, no, oh, I sort of had something there. No, that that was totally it. Okay, hold on. I just need to... to mm. I need to the have not there. Yes, good, like that, sort of. Ruff, 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 yes, doggy, you are barky. There, no, that's not it. <laughs> I need to have, okay, I need to have no blocks on that side when I, oy vey, you've still blown through this way faster than I did. <laughs> oh man, I'm still not doing great either though. Um, okay, so if they can all be on the right, Oh, that's what it is. Okay, hold on. I got it. So if we fill in the right-hand side, and then we can go back left, and then down one, and then right. Oh, I can't go right now. There. I just solved it without intending to. <laughs> okay. Whew. All right. Oh, hello. My fave Metaton moment, TM, right when everything looks like the baddest he poses dramatically. Like when he's on a cooking show and the eggs don't turn out right. But then he says, even if you suck at cooking, you can always buy an MTT brand glam burger. Then he eats one. Everyone loves it. How does he eat it without a mouth? Uh, well, watch the show. <laughs> okay. My fave moment is when he beats up the heel-turning villains, even if it's during what's supposed to be a quiz show. Oh, and I like when he tries all kinds of different fashionable outfits, even if it's during what's supposed to be a newscast. Okay. Ugh, puzzles. Down, down. Uh, now I gotta go left, go down. Left and down, there we go. Oh, okay. Okay, we need to not move through blue. I didn't move. What the heck? I wasn't moving. That's total bumpkiss. I gotta use a Healy item here. Ring. Hey, this um doesn't have anything to do with guiding you, but... Uh, would you want to watch a human TV show together? Sometime? It's called, um, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. Uh, sure. Really? It's so good. It's, um, my favorite show. It's all about this human girl named Mew Mew who has cat ears, which humans don't have, so she's all sensitive about them. But, like, eventually she realizes that her ears don't matter, that her friends like her despite the ears. It's really moving. Whoops, spoilers. Also, this sounds weird, but she has the power to control the minds of anyone she kisses. She kisses people and controls them to fix her problems. They don't remember anything after the kiss, I mean. But if she misses the kiss, then, then, uh, and, uh, also, I mean, of course, eventually she realizes that controlling people... Okay, well, I almost spoiled the whole show, but uh, I think you'd really like it. Uh, we should watch it after you get through all this. Somebody clip that. Because, <laughs> wow. I should clip that later. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, shoot, you have one shot. Okay. This is... Oh, I need to reset it. Um, there we go. That's not so bad. Do, 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 do. You weren't moving, but you're on a conveyor belt. That's still cheating. Oh, it's a cactus. You stop to smell the flowers. Okay. Uh, we gotta go right now. Okie dokie. Unedited since I'm on a phone, but sure, no worries. I can always go back and reclip it later. Ooh, save points. Okay. Smell of cobwebs fills the air. You're filled with determination. Let's save. Check my items here. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing striped a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. What? I heard that they love to stomp on them. 
I heard that they like to tear their legs off? What? Uh oh. I heard that they're awfully stingy with their money. <laughs> you think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Uh oh. Oh, shite. Muffet traps you? Struggle, check, pay 10 gold. Uh, let's just try and mercy? Don't look so blue, my dearie. What the heck? Oh my gosh. What? I think purple is a better look on you. <laughs> Up next, you're trapped in strange purple web. Oh no. Alright, why so pale? You should be proud. Oh. Oh. Okay, this isn't so bad. More spiders. Pours you a cup of spiders. Proud that you're going to make a delicious cake! <laughs> oh, crap. Ah! Okay. Double spiders? Let you go? Don't be silly. What is that? Muffet does a synchronized dance with the other spiders. Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. Oh, shiza! I cannot move this fast. Okay. Muffins. Those eyes are cool. I really like the animation for this boss. And the music's good, too. Oh, how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. What? Ah! Oh, shh. What the heck? Oh. Whoa, okay. Ow. I don't know. I, uh, wow. Okay, we're still going. Person who warned us about you is what? Ow. Ow. Go oh, crap. I need to heal. Uh, let's use a cinnamon button. You eat the bun. Your HP was maxed out. I'm struggling not to tell you a thing. Last time, well, thank you for not telling me a thing. Offered us a lot of money for your soul. Okay. Uh, more donuts. I had such a sweet smile and <laughs> oh crap oh what what is that oh it's a croissant <laughs> more croissants okay it's strange but I swore I saw them in the shadows changing shape shape okay they're allowed to change shape if they want to oh oh more more giant muffin okay oh it's lunchtime isn't it and I forgot to feed my pet oh, great. Ow. Okay. Ah! Muffin pet. You're gonna eat me. Oh, shiza. Go, go, go up. Go up. Go up. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. I can't move fast enough. Oh, holy cow. That is the first time I've died. Wow. You cannot give up just yet. Pat, stay determined. Okay. Oh, snap. Rip. I'm gonna need a death counter. I, I wasn't gonna set one up for this game, but I might need one. Um, Alright, I'm gonna load up my inventory just in case. So I have some heal items, but I, well, no, all my other heal items are in uh, here. See, look, I, I, okay, maybe I bought the spider cider and spider donut. Maybe I can do something with that during the fight. Filled with determination. Okay. I can guarantee you need one later. Oh, man. Alright. Oh, did I, I save, right? It's one of those perpetual problems with games. Did you save? I don't remember. Let's go save again. Wait, did I save? I don't remember. Let's go save again. Sure. Go ahead. No, I, I knew what you meant by needing a death counter later. Yeah. Oh, they don't say the same thing. Now it's just go straight to the fight. Okay. Background's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I heard. A certain stingy human hates spiders. Okay. We are gonna spare, please. Don't look blue. We're gonna go purple. I think purple looks better on you. Okay. Spare me, please. Why so pale? You should be proud. I'm not pale. I'm just trying to figure out how to play this. Okay. Spare, please. I'm gonna make you into that delicious cake. Sure you are. Pours you a cup of spiders, thank you. Let you go? Don't be silly. No, I'm trying to spare you. Or something. Spare. Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. Okay, sure. Ah, crud. I always mess that up. If I stay in the middle, I'm fine with those. Okay. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. And first, uh, yes, I almost forgot to introduce you. It's breakfast time. Have fun. Sure. As much fun as I can. Problem is, is the sideways movement on this is not very fast, so it's kind of difficult to to move over in time to ow, not get hit. Ow, 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 ow! Crap. Uh, let's I guess try this spider donut. You ate the spider donut. Your HP is maxed up. Huh? Where did you get that? Did you steal it? Oh, my pet. It's time to show them what we do with thieves. Eh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins. What? They're saying they saw you and you were really passionate about spiders. Oh my, this has all been a misunderstand big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul, they must have meant a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime and for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll spare you now. Oh, wow. Did I just make a, like, did I just unlock some sort of a weird cheat that I didn't even know about by buying an item at the beginning of the game and holding onto it long enough to use for, jeez, talk about esoteric. I just stuffed that in my inventory because I wasn't using healing items. Okay. I guess I'll go ahead and spare. Sweet. <laughs> that was fun. See you again, dearie. Sure, let's go save. That's what I was struggling not to tell you about. Oh, well, I'm I'm glad that I had um. I had spider stuff saved up in my. In my box, that probably just saved me hours of pain, didn't it? I am filled with determination. Whew. Okay, hello, spiders. Sadly, already used my spider items by that time. Oh. There you are, dearie. My, you are always welcome in my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. <laughs> sure thing. Yeah, I wasn't using a ton of early, like, spider items, so... It's a poster for Metaton's latest stage performance. A tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Of course it is. Oh, that human. Could it be? My one true love? What? Really? This is totally an homage to Final Fantasy VI. Okay, I'm not singing this. Sorry guys, you're just gonna have to read it. Oh my love, please run away. Monster King. Forbids your stay. Humans must. The far apart. Even if it breaks my heart, they'll put you. Oh my god, Sakura Blossoms, in the dungeon. It'll suck. And then you'll die a lot. Really sad. You're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. 
So sad. It's happening. Oh, and a shooting star. So sad. So sad that you're going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. Oh gosh, I fell. Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly my paramour will surely perish. Oh, the colored tile shit. Hold on, I wrote this down like a couple streams ago. I have it on a piece of paper. Hold on. This is, there's a clip of me doing this if you look at my channel where I sat down and I was trying to solve this puzzle and I wrote down all the instructions that Papyrus gave me and then it's like, oh look, you can just walk straight through it. So red is impassable, yellow is electric, green is an alarm, uh, orange smells good, blue, you can't go on blue after orange. Uh, purple is slippery and makes you smell like lemons, so it solves the problem with the blue and pink is safe. I have okay. Yellow is electric. We can't go on electric, so we gotta go right up, right. Purple is what? Purple is slippery, so we can go... Oh gosh, I'm just, I, I've got this in front of me. Hello, Jaden Undertale. Thank you so much for stopping by. Just a quick note that this is no spoilers, please, because I am playing through this on the first time, and so I'm figuring it out on my own. Uh, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will actually wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about 100 rooms ago? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. I'm still not going to do this right. And you better hurry, because if you don't get through in 30 seconds, well, you'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. Ha 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 ha. My poor love. I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Great. I'm going to prop this note up in front of my screen here so I can try and read it. Good luck, darling. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm already moving slow. Okay. Pink is safe. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go here. Yes. Here. Uh, what's orange? Orange just smells good. Uh, yellow is electric. We can't... Oh, I should have gone down and... Hold on. Nope, can't do that. I think I'm stuck. Yeah. Nope, out of time. <laughs> I can't even... I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Great. Here come the flames, darling. Uh, well, I'm so they're closing in. Getting closer. Oh my! Any minute now. Robotic cough. Ring. Watch out! I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right in the firewall. Cute. Oh no! How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Doctor Alphys. That, that's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling. What are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Oh, shite. Okay, here we go. Check and yell. We already established that doesn't work, so we're just gonna spare. This is it, darling, say goodbye. Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Your phone's act menu is glowing, okay. Yellow. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. Oh, that yellow glow. What? So I was purple and now I'm yellow. Now press Z. Oh, shoot, yes. Oh, oh, you've defeated me. How can this be? You are stronger than I thought, etc. Ah. Oh my gosh. 
Looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. What? Oh no, I mean, you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? Before I met you, I didn't really, I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw up. Like I couldn't do anything without, without ending up letting everyone down. But, guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So, thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Okay. Holy cow, that's long. I do not think I would have been able to finish this at all. Yikes. That's that's just dastardly. Even even if you had written down, which I had, there's it's like, how the heck are you supposed to finish that? Ooh. Can I buy ice an ice cream from you? Hey, it's you again. Business is excellent here. These two fellas bought all my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Okay. Oh, hey. We're like taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. Aw. I heart those two. Oh, hey. How's it going? Hey, hey. Do you remember my name? Did you? Yeah. What? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? Well, I remembered it, Mr. Heat's Flames, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, that... What? Oh, I see. I fell down. That's why I did that. Up we go. Oh, what's this? Hey! Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Okay. Hi, Sans. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah, sure, why not? Great. Thanks for treating me. What? Over here. I know a shortcut. Sans and his shortcut stuff, man. Oh. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, but oh. Uh... Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Hmm. Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So, I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out like usual. Knock on the door and say knock-knock, and suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? Is that Toria? So, naturally, I respond, Dishes. Dishes who? Dish is a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. Like, it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. Didn't Toriel have, like, a book of knock-knock jokes in her... her house? So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock-knock! I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's, it's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. Hmm. This is some backstory. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises, and this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Whew. 
This game has moments where it's like totally lighthearted and then it just goes off the deep end. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time, actually. I have once. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? See, am I wrong? Heh. <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Wow. Where did he go? It's a potted plant. It's some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation, but I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyways. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. It's a potted plant. It's amazing how something as simple as dumping two pixels and changing a font can get you so hard. No kidding. It's a platoon of ficuses. It's a wall of fame full of quotes and videos. Uh, the food is to die for. Gorgeous style and fragrance. My face tastes beautiful. These are all metaton. Of course they are. Oh, hello. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks, but now building things winding and confusing is some awful tradition. Can't go uh, uh, two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. Performance schedule, comedians, dancers, sands. There seems there's a break right now. I work at the core. The inside is a maze of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. Okay, we said that already. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. Also, for some reason I can only watch this on my Android phone. iPad and PS4 only show a black, black screen. It's probably a Twitch problem. Um, I really don't know why. That's not funny. I remember that guy. I forget what his name was, but I, I fought or f laughed at his jokes in Snowden. Blub blub, you have to reserve a table to eat here. You only see to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Okay. Sure, dude. Whatever. Whoa. Let's save. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotline's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice! MTT Resort's itself on being passed through. There's an inscription on this fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain built 21X. Metaton added last week. Last week. Yeah, I'm not going to be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. Okay. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing the best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Okay. As a slime, I'm outraged. Okay. The elevator is in use. Aren't you handy? Yes, we know the elevator to the city is not working. Because, this is in because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 gold a room. I'm good, thank you. Do let us know if you change your mind. Have a sparktacular day. Whoa, room service. Got my CT? No, but I know where I can get some then. Uh, no, I'm good. It's locked. Whoa, room service. Got my cinnamon bun? Sure, I have a cinnamon bun. You flatten the cinnamon bun until it's paper thin. You slide under the door. Huh, that's just the way I want. Here's a tip. You got 99 gold. Sweet! I'm almost at a thousand gold. You hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. I don't have anything to put. Or I don't know what to put. Seems busy. Yeah, no kidding. Cleaning up after dripping all over the place. Okay. Save. Whoops. Down one cinnamon bun. What's this place? Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day. This guy looks like he's dying inside. Why is this person trying to sell me something? This is a hamburger restaurant. I'm just trying to survive. The customer is always right. 
Starfate heals 14. Glamberger 27. Legendary hero. Attack up in battle. Heal 60 HP. Please don't ask. Oh my gosh, those are really expensive too. Uh, I'm sorry. Haha. <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Alright, I guess I'm gonna buy a Glamberger. Oh my god, thanks, have a fab beautiful day. Dude, you're a little too happy. I think you need to lay off the, the happy drugs. What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers. Sorry. So, I wanted to be an actor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Take it from me, little buddy. Life advice. I'm getting on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old, and I've already wasted my entire life. Romance advice. Listen, I like you, little buddy. So I'm going to give you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people. Unless you're one of them. They're just not going to take advantage. They're just going to take advantage of you. Like that time, those two chicks asked me to sneak them some glam burgers. And I, naive teenager what I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. Glamburger story? Okay. So I went out to the alley to see these two ladies and, uh, you know, see what had happened next. Mm. Then my boss uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pockets tumbled out onto the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. Well. Okay, Burger Pants. Metaton. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. <laughs> Why is Metaton bad? God, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices, and every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says that's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right! Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Why else is MTT bad? Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. You know, one time I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make yourself more rectangular. Eh, they don't work. <laughs> Your future. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait, there's one thing that keeps me going. If Ascor gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's got to be a second chance out there for me. For everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Thanks, dude. I think I need to leave now. Anytime, little buddy, because you are freaky. Let's save. And let's... I got distracted, but I wanted to see what was over here. Because they said, like, go check it out. Hey, check it out! Yeah, check it out! Um, junk food. Empty gun. Cowboy hat. Attack up. Mystery key to somebody's house. Is that to the house next to Napstablook house? I'm totally buying this key. Sold out! Braddy, we're gonna be rich. Oh my god, is that a Glamburger? Oh my god, gimme! God, Caddy, try to have some self-control. Sorry. Because they obviously brought that Glamburger for me. No way! <laughs> oh my gosh. So, like, what's up about your wares? The stuff inside is, like, totally wicked expensive. But, like, this stuff we found is, like, totally wicked cheap. You should, like, totally wicked buy all of it. <laughs> Origin of the wares. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or... We found it all in the garbage. <laughs> it's good garbage. It's, like, really good garbage. Origin of the garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store. Duh. Waterfall mostly. I found a gun a gun in a dumpster. <laughs> no Tem College. Tem may still go to college. We may still get a thousand gold. About Metaton. Oh my god. Oh my god, Metaton. He's like he's he's like my robot husband. 
I think we're like both going to marry him. We're like, we're both like already married to him. He just like doesn't know it yet. Origin of Metaton. So like Dr. Alphys built Metaton, right? That's like what they tell you. But like Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was an old friend. But they're like not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever. Okay. Old? Oh my god, Metaton. He's like, okay, we, we did that already. Whoops. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. About Alphys. Oi. Oh my god, Alphys. She used to live on a street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. Royal scientist. So, Alphys always has, like, thought Ascor is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So, after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must be, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little, girl. Yeah, like us. Okay, more about Asgore. This guys have a lot to say. Oh my god. He's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's, like, so nice. God, we're, like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Holy cow. Burger pants. Oh, that guy from the store? Yuck. What a creep. Yeah, he's a creep. But he's kind of cute, too. Come on, caddy. Don't you have any standards? Nope! <laughs> <laughs> More burger pants. Okay, like, the annoying thing is, he'd be okay if he just treated us with some respect. But he just acts really weird, and then acts like it's it's our fault he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get those glam burgers, he dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. We were, like, going to share them. Really? I wasn't. Caddy! Oh. About you two. I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend, Caddy. I'm Caddy, and my best friend, Braddy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, like, see you later and stuff. Okay. That was a lot to take in. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel is your extermination. Okay, so I have two options at this point. I can press forward, or I can take that key that I found and backtrack all the freaking way to Waterfall and see if it works on that room. Maybe it might even work on somebody else's house because I know there's the... I found this door behind Sans and Papyrus's house as well as the door to the jail, so... I'm thinking... I'm thinking we backtrack. Just to see. I just want to see. I want to see it all. Please select a location. We want left floor one. I like how this is an elevator that can go left and right. Maybe that's why it's a gigantic tall person who can walk around. The ominous humming sounds. Oh, cool. Put me right here. All right, let's go to waterfall. Tra-la-la, -la, care for a ride? Yes, I would like to ride in the boat. Where will we go? We are going to waterfall. Then we're off. And the running boat. I don't know why the boat runs, but apparently it's very happy to be running. Tra-la-la, -la, the piano plays the tinkling song. Hmm, tinkling. Dog boat. Is it a dog or is it a cat? I guess it is a dog, since everything in this game is dog themed. Come again. Okay, bye. We have to go left to get to here, and I think the house is the middle one. Yeah. It's locked. Okay, can I use this? Mystery key. Unique. It's too bent to fit on your keychain. Alright. Cats don't get in the water, silly. You don't know that. You use the mystery key. The red house's door was unlocked, and the key disappeared. Oh, snap. Okay. A bunch of books. What the heck? 
Dear Diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Bluki, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Bluki. Bluki, I guess, is naps to Bluk. Dearer Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. Whoa. That leaves just Bluki and I. Bluki asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Bluki. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. So, the training dummy was a sibling of Napstabluk? My darling diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork, and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. That sounds like Alphys. Diary. My dear. My diary collection is growing, going fabulously. I have like five now. <laughs> oh, gosh. Dear diary. She surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Bluki. My dreams can't wait for anyone. Wait, let me read that again. Sorry. Your diary she surprised me with something. She being Alphys, she wants sketches of a body to create a form beyond my walls and a form like food. Okay, after all, there's no way I can be a star. This is Metaton's former house? Whoa. Okay. Freaky. So, Napstablook and Napstablook's sibling Metaton and then the dummy are all siblings or something. Or relatives or something like that. Oh, wow. Interesting. The house is still on fire. What? It's a living. Yes, you're a dummy. Good job. Pardon me. Okay, save. Save, please. Thank you. Huh. Well, that's some interesting backstory. Let's go back to Hotland. No, I didn't... Ah, crap. I pressed Snowden. Sorry about that. We're going to Snowden real quick. Apparently. Tra-la-la. -la, eat a mushroom every day. Why? Then I know you're listening to me. Okay. And we arrive at Snowden. Thank you. Come again sometime. Care for a ride? Yes. But I want to go to Hotland. Thank you. Tra la la. The waters are wild today. That's bad luck. Oh, great. That's just what I need is bad luck. Come back again sometime soon. Saving. Whoops, button. Yes. Okay, up we go. And we need to go to right three? Or is it left three? I can't even remember. I think it's it's right three. Okay. Tem will go to college, just has to make more money. That guy's still in total surprise. All right. Saving. The core. What is this? Ring? Huh? Who are they? Nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well, we can't worry about that now. You're right, we can't worry about that now. Ring. Ready? This is it. Take the elevator to the top of the core. Click. 
the elevator isn't working. Uh, what? The elevator should be working. Well then, go to the right and keep heading up. Okay, this sounds like a whole additional area that unfortunately I don't have time for because I am at my two hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to save here. Saved. And we will be back next week, Saturday, to pick up... Or Sunday, sorry. Every Sunday I play this game. We'll be back next week, Sunday, to pick up where we left off. Thank you everyone so much for joining in uh, for my further explorations of Undertale. I was looking forward to fight coming up. Well, now you just spoiled that there's a fight coming up. Of course there was a fight coming up. I gotta fight Metaton. Don't worry. I will be the first thing next stream. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Good to see you, Nightfire. I'm going to go ahead and set up a raid here, so please stick around for a moment while we figure out who we're going to raid. I think we will raid... Let's give Chao Bello a raid. C-I-A-O-B-E-L-L-3. Okay, thank you guys again so much for stopping by. I will be back next week Sunday at the same time to play more Undertale. And I will probably do a few more Half-Life Alex streams during the week. Stay safe out there, wash your hands, make sure you don't touch your face. And as always, aloha.